The next part will be adaptive release. Adaptive release is a feature of Blackboard so that you can control what shows up on the screen and who can get access to it. And Rick will be presenting that. Thank you, Bill. Go uh, ahead, Rick. Uh, so it's going to be hard for me to um, uh, make an equal performance as Bill. So it's always hard after Bill to present. Um, so let's get started with the adaptive release. How many of you are familiar with what the adaptive release uh, is in Blackboard? Have you ever seen it or used? Yeah, give us a green check if you've used the adaptive yeah, release. Give us a check. Okay. Okay. Okay, just one more second. All right. All right, good to see some of you are familiar with it and some are not. Uh, so basically, this is what it is. The adaptive release uh, uh, provides you, the professor in the class um, some kind of control in the release of the content uh, based on some rules that they can, uh, they can set up. Those rules can be the date and time, the availability of the document itself, uh, the m a membership, uh, so based uh, if it's a person, a student, or a group, uh, scores uh, pulled from the grade center, attempts on the grade center, uh, the review status of the document, or any or any other uh, item in the course. Um, so let's go ahead and go into more details for the the adaptive release. Before you um, you set up, you set up an adaptive release, you have to make sure that your edit mode is on. If your edit mode is off, you will not be able to do that because you will be pretty much in, in the student view. So you will not be able to uh, make changes or editing a, an item in Blackboard. So after you have your edit mode on, you have to pick what document or what item you want to uh, set up for the adaptive release. So the first thing that you have to do is make sure that you're in a content area. Uh, how do you know what a content area is? Well, basically, it's when you have this bar on the top. This will give you an indication that you're in a content area. So anything underneath uh, can be uh, set up with the adaptive release. Once you have located the item that you want to set up the adaptive release for, you click on the drop down. This is only visible if you move the mouse over the, the item itself, and you and you will see that little contextual menu, and you select the adaptive release. Now this will give you the adaptive release page, and uh, you will see multiple options in there. You will see the date, membership, the grade, the review status, and so on. So we're going to look at each one of those in the in the next slides. The first thing is the dates. Okay, the dates here allows you to set up a date range, so you can set up the item to be visible after a specific date by by checking the box here, and here selecting the date and the time. So you also have the option to set up the time of the day. If you want this to appear after that date and be visible after that, that's fine. But if you want this to uh, stop being visible after a specific time, you just click on display until and select the date and the time. So now that you have created your date range, this item, uh, once the criteria is met, will be visible only during that time, time frame. The next thing is the membership. So now this will actually grant access only to the students that are member of the, the rule. So if you create uh, an adaptive release with membership, only the people that you, sele you select will be able to see that document. So you, you either enter their C number here or just browse for their for the name and you will see all the students in that course and you select them. If you have groups, you can also do the the adaptive release for the groups in your course. So only students of a specific uh, group will be able to see a document or a folder uh, that you have selected. Now the next thing is the grades. Uh, this is also a very interesting one. 
uh, because this will um, uh, allow you to uh, grant access to a document or, or an item based on, on a grade received in the grade center. So when if you set that up, uh, I, I'm not going to show it here in this uh, slide, but in here if you click on the drop down, you'll see a list of all the columns that you would have in the grade center. And all of what you have to do is really pick that column and uh, after that select a score here at the bottom. So let's do it again. So you select the column in the grade center that you want to, to fit the, the criteria. And when a student gets a grade for that column, uh, this will be available. So now here, that's where you set up the grade. So you have either a score or percentage and what type of uh, um, definition you want for that for the score. So less than or equal to, uh, more or less. I mean, it's you have a a whole list of different options in here. And here you can enter the score that is going to be the, the trigger for the release. Um, if you want a, a range of scores, you can select here between. You put the further, the lower score, and then you put the higher score here. Am I going too fast? Is it OK? You guys have any questions on that? or No? OK. All right. Move on to the next one. The next one here, this is the review status. Uh, when you set up um, documents or items in Blackboard, you also have the option to uh, set uh, the review status, which basically means that, it, that the students will have to check uh, that they review that document in order for them to uh, uh, release the review of the other document. So if you select here, the review status, you can set up which document they have to review in order for you to for, for the document to be released to them. Of course, uh, you have to click submit. Uh, in many cases, people do all the settings and then they just click on the menu, on the course menu on the left, and they forget to click submit. If you don't click submit, none of those changes will take effect. Vanessa Rodriguez, she's in the library. I've been working with her on some um, uh, modules for the English department. But they have created surveys uh, that uh, uh, have to meet some specific uh, rules. For example, the students take the first survey, and when they finish taking the first survey, then the next one is released to them, uh, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, this, is, uh, this is great if you want to control uh, the pace of your course, and that's uh, I, I think that uh, it's it's a great tool, a, a little bit underused, and that's why I wanted to talk about it today, uh, because definitely will help a lot of uh, professors um, to control the access and what they want the students to see for their classes. Now the adaptive release. Uh, it's it's one of the options that you have to release material. But there's also the the date restrictions when you edit or when you create an item. And if you set up um, a date range when you create an item, when you edit the item, it could be in conflict with the adaptive release uh, because there are two separate uh, options that you have for for an item. So you have to make sure that they're matching. Usually, when you set up the adaptive release, the date res the, the the date restriction for the item matches it, but if you set up the document first with a date range and then go to the adaptive release and set up a different date range, that might be a conflict and the document might not be available to the students. Now, this is particularly uh, uh, a good way to uh, set up your course with uh, because with the increase of the online courses that the university is moving towards, this is definitely going to be a big help for all the faculty. Uh, like I said previously, it helps control the access of the material. And uh, it, it's kind of a, an incentive for the students to move forward. So if, if you tell them you have to complete this in order to move to the next one, uh, they, they obviously have to, um, to make sure that they, uh, they're uh, matching the criteria. 
Do we have any questions for this? I hope that I was able to uh, show you quickly what the adapter release is and uh, if you have any uh, specific questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Yes, Kitam. The, the advanced adaptive release, it's, uh, um, it's uh, another option that allows you to, cre to create multiple rules. Um, so, so it's not just one criteria that you'll be creating. You, you can create multiple ones. Another thing with the adapter release is that you can copy them from course to course. Uh, you don't have to, uh, if, you, if you have a new course, uh, you don't have to recreate all the rules. You can copy that. Yes, Lily. Yes. Um, the Blackboard just, just implemented in this version what's called the date management. So if you set up a course for this semester with all kind of adaptive release and all kind of dates, the date management, what it does is that it allows you to make a course copy and also change all the dates that you have in this course to be reflected in the new course for the next semester. And for those dates that need special care, um, it gives you the whole list of all the dates and you can pick three or four and change those to another date or whatever. So they really are trying to make your job easier. It may not feel that way, but they are. You guys weren't that shy when Bill was in the presentation. Uh, I think that's probably it. If there are other questions, you can put it in the chat room. Thank you very much. And this is the time that you go up to the uh, to the emoticon and do the applause. It doesn't make any noise, but it does uh, give him some some recognition. Thank you all. <laughs>